Hello, you guys might remember my uh, beautiful Juki Daisy Wheel printer from the uh, early 80s, <coughs> which I demonstrated in another video hooked up to a vintage computer. And uh, somebody asked, well, but could you hook it up to a modern computer? Answer came through YouTube, no, that cannot be done. Uh, but actually that's not true. I'm going to show you otherwise. Print, test page, see what happens. Holy macaroni! It works! <laughs> That's the hard way to make a typewriter. <laughs> the first challenge is that uh, modern computers don't have a parallel port or as this one is hooked up, the even older serial port. Uh, so I'll have to do something about it. So we need a serial port. Uh, so the first thing is to plug in one of those um, cheap USB to serial port dongles. But before you plug it in, uh, make sure you go to your device manager to figure out where it's going to end up. Uh, hardware, device manager, and COM port. So here it is. So right now I already have a few Bluetooth and a power printer port. Let's get that one going and blonk and here we go and here it is uh, so it's going to be COM7 so that's my serial port so now I need to get from a 9 pin uh, to a 25 pin uh, and DB connector uh, so I need this little adapter 9 to 25 uh, but I'm not quite done uh, because this is just a straight through and uh, so we need a little connection box and that's the main difficulty here so I have one so that's what this little uh, connection box does it flips 3 to 2 and 2 to 3 so RX connected to TX and vice versa the classic serial stuff uh, but in this case uh, I had to also move uh, pin 20 to pin 5 for some reason that's the uh, hardware uh, handshaking okay it's all hooked up let's see if it talks to it so let's test our serial connection um, I, uh, you can use hyper terminal uh, as a little serial console that I prefer to our term a little bit more flexibility. Uh, so first thing <coughs> is to configure serial port. Uh, we say it was COM7. And then you have to match exactly what the printer is. 2400 bots, 7 bits, odd parity, 1 bit stop, flow control, hardware. If I have uh, made my adapter correctly. Um, and uh, well, let's see if I have any connection here. So the idea, if I if I type something, it should go. It does, and be transmitted. Hello world. And then if I do return, it just does a carriage return. I need to do the control return for the line feed. I suspect. Yes, there we go. Here we go. Look, ma. I've made a typewriter. You can get even fancier with your typewriter. So let's put some uh, local echo and transmit. We'll do a uh, carriage return to slime feed. And now I should have a real typewriter. Let's try that. Okay. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> That's the hard way to make a typewriter.
<laughs> and it copies dutifully your your mistakes. Okay, so now that we have some uh, connectivity, let's see if we can add it as a printer on XP. So add printer and welcome to the wizard uh, local printer yes no definitely don't install it automatically uh, so it wants to install it on the parallel port new we want port com port 7 next and then that's the beauty of it uh, you choose generic for a driver and there is a generic text only in windows xp and i think it's still there the latest version of windows uh, I tried it before, so it wants me to keep the driver, so yes, uh, and we'll call it Juki Daisy Wheel. And that's going to be our vintage printer. Do you want to print test page? No, let's not do it. I don't think it would work right off the bat because uh, I bet it would not set up the port correctly by default so let's go into the printer properties and over here ports it's on port 7 configure port uh, well actually it did configure it by default probably a hangover of what I did before so 2400 uh, bot, 7 bits, odd parity, one stop bit, hardware flow control. Okay. Close. Uh, if I do that, uh, print, test page, see what happens. Holy macaroni! It works! Windows XP printer test page, congratulations. If you can read this information, you have correctly installed your printer. So here you go, of course you can connect the vintage Daisy Wheel printer to a modern Windows computer. What were they thinking? This is the end of the printer test page. Enjoy!